Uber gear the works. In fact, if an old mate came in, he might even get a cold beer from under the counter, just like the old days. Really? <laughs> well, if you say so. And what do you think about this, Rick? Well, Granite's the expert. I'm just along for the ride. Oh, don't be so enthusiastic. Go lay off him, woman. No, Alfred, this is a very big investment for you. And Rick has to make certain it's something he wants to commit to. I mean, for both your sakes. Yeah, well, just stop badgering him, eh? You take your time, mate. It is a big decision for you, and it's heading in a new direction. Yeah. <sighs> Only more age right, though. I probably should be keener about this. It's... It's just Maddie wants to move to Perth to study. And she wants me to go with her. Now, I mean, this all reads great. I'm just not sure. Yeah, I, uh, well, right, yeah. Um, Look, don't get me wrong, but I would love to do this. It sounds fantastic. It's just, I just don't really want to lose Maddie. Pretty impressive, especially for you. Be nice <laughs> to me. <laughs> I think I might go to hospital and book in for an operation more often. You're still okay to do it, aren't you? You know, if you don't want to, you don't... No, I am, okay? I want to do it. There is something else, though, I'd like to discuss. Mm -hmm. Your living arrangements. I'd really like you to move in here, like, permanently. Tony, I practically am living here. <laughs> exactly, so why don't we make it official? We'll tell Jack and Martha. OK, how's this sound? By the time you get out of hospital, it will be official, OK? Yeah, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> Good. Oh, don't move us. You just hold that. Yeah. Hey, Maddie. What? Are you OK? Um, I've got some good news. Maddie, what's up? Is that how you look when you've got good news? Oh, no, the, the news is good. It's what it means that I'm not sure about. Um, I've been accepted into uni in WA. <gasps> Yeah, I'm meant to start in two weeks. Wow, that's great. You're going to go? Uh, congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Uh, what about uh, Ricky? Are you going to go together? I'm not sure about any of it. So what's going on? You've been avoiding me all night. What do you mean? We, we talked. Hardly. Every time you look over, you avoid my eye contact, even though I know you've been checking out our table. You're imagining things. Dad didn't say anything to upset you, did he? Uh, no, what do you mean? Well, I don't know, he just sometimes he says stupid things, so... Uh, Aiden, seriously, nothing's going on. Well, well I thought maybe... What? I thought maybe you're annoyed that Dad knows about us. And, like, if that's it, you don't have to worry, because, I mean, he's not going to say anything to anyone. Yeah, no, that, that's what it was. But seriously, you're, you're making way too big a deal out of it. You sure that that's all it is? I said so, didn't I? OK, cool. Hey, if you want us to remain a secret, just try and relax a little, right? Oh, hey, um... <clears throat> how come you didn't tell me you came around the other day? When? Well, when you saw Dad and came over to our house. Oh, uh, well, you weren't there, so I left. What's there to say? Well, nothing, I guess. Are you... <clears throat> you sure there's nothing wrong? Only that you're acting like a neurotic old woman. Lax. We talked about it a bit. I thought he understood that it was about our future together, but I think he just sees it as an opportunity for me. Maybe that's what's so threatening. It's your future that's becoming clearer. Yeah, his confusion is, is all about where he fits into this. Yeah, but if he comes with me, it'll be about our future together. I know it won't be something as set and concrete as the bait shop, but... I think about the last six months, so much has unravelled, and as soon as it looks like something's starting to come good, you want him to leave that. This is so hard. I mean, we've, we've argued before, but this feels different and it's really scaring me. It's like everything's changed, even the way that we talk to each other. Maddie, 
getting accepted into uni is a really great achievement, you know. I'm really, really proud of you. And I know your mum would have been too. She also would have wanted you to consider this really carefully and, and only do what you know you should do. That was a good night, mate. I'm glad you talked me out. Yeah, good. Hey, is something up? You'll be quiet there over dinner. I don't suppose young Bell's have got something to do with it, eh? Maybe, I don't, I don't know. It's just something's up with her and I, I can't figure out what it is. Ah, you worry too much. That's your problem. When she came over here, what did you guys talk about? Nothing. Nothing? Oh, well, she said, you know, hey, how are you? She asked if you were there. I said no, and then she left. That was it. Why? I know, just when I saw you guys talking tonight, it seemed kind of in intense. Uh, I think you need glasses, mate.